Is crypto contagion crashing the entire cryptocurrency market and potentially even Wall Street? Well, it's no surprise that the entire marketplace has been crashing down. A sea of red, the S&P 500 was completely red, every position down this week. We saw the Fed raising their rates, and of course, the cryptocurrency markets are a complete bloodbath. A lot of the most popular cryptocurrencies are down 70, 80, 90% or even more. And I think it's just getting started. What we've seen with uh, the blow up of Terra Luna token a couple weeks ago, I made a couple videos talking about that. The contagion is spreading. So companies that had exposure to that um, are now going down and it's like dominoes falling down. So in this video, I'm going to break down what exactly is happening, who's involved, how big this potential hole is, and what to be watching out for if you're caught up in this. So let's go. All right, so you remember we talked about the Terra Luna situation. It was a it was a it was a algorithmic stablecoin peg, and somehow the algorithm was supposed to keep the peg. And I said, look, all pegs are meant to be broken. George Soros was famously made rich, making a billion dollars in a day by breaking the peg of the Bank of England. So that's what traders do. They go after these things. In the 80s, we got popular in Wall Street with the Raiders. It's made popular by movies like Wall Street and Money Never Sleeps. Uh, now we're seeing it in real time. We saw it with GameStop last year, Terra Luna, it happened with, we talked about that, and it's only continuing to spread. Now we have Celsius that had massive exposure to uh, Terra Luna that got out maybe just in the nick of time, but made way too many other, other risky bets, have suspended their withdrawals, leaving a lot of people in a bad situation, and it's only getting bigger. Now, one of the biggest funds that maybe has the most exposure to the entire cryptocurrency market and even ties to Wall Street is, let's just say, they're looking very sketchy to say the least. Now, even if you don't have money with Terra Luna, Celsius, or with this one here, you could still be at risk because of the contagion. So let's take a look and see what's happening. So here we can see, uh, working this out, a major crypto hedge fund just gave a very cryptic answer over whether it will implode. So it's not saying exactly, but it's a very crypto uh, cryptic answer. Uh, no, no, no pun intended there. It says the crypto bloodbath already claimed Terra Luna. We talked about that. It already claimed Celsius. We talked about that. And now it may claim its third high profile victim this week. Now, as far as Celsius goes, if you have money locked up in Celsius, there is still hope. All right. They've brought in um, someone to do a restructuring. They don't have enough assets to cover all the customer deposits. Um, it's going to be divvied up. Um, there's a chance you may get nothing. There's a chance you may get something. The chance of being made whole is probably very low, so maybe don't hold on to that. But it's not over for them. They've been able to bring their liquidity requirements down. I think now they get liquidated with Bitcoin around like 12,000 um, from like 23,000 when they started. So they halted deposits to try to shore up this position. Maybe they're able to survive. Maybe there's a takeover. I've heard of some, some companies potentially buying them out. Maybe there's a takeover. Uh, maybe there's a way we get some of it. So don't give up hope just yet, but don't hold your breath either. All right, now back to this. It claims its third high profile victim this week, hedge fund, Three Arrows Capital, or 3AC for short. You might have seen this being thrown around. Could end up being the latest scalp. What does that mean, the latest scalp? Remember, I talked about these raiders <laughs> scalping their victims, right? They're looking for these positions where they can go break them. Where they're short, like with GameStop, the short squeeze, or like this. Um, as rumors swirled that over its impending demise, owing to losses connected to the deep slump in Bitcoin, Ether, and other altcoins. So they bought Bitcoin, they bought Ethereum, they bought other altcoins. They put those up as collateral to make these risky bets. As the collateral draws down, they're forced into margin calls or they're forced to cover that margin. Now, if all of the collateral starts dropping too fast, which is what's happened, they can't meet the margin requirements and that's exactly what's happening. And then like sharks, when there's blood in the water, those sharks will show up and they're gonna start trying to attack that to see if they can make some money. And what we can see here is uh, Danny Wan of Hong Kong, a based cryptocurrency firm, Eight Blocks, um, claim to be affected by the company's problems. He says that we trade in one of three ACs trading accounts. This morning, they took about 1 million out of our accounts. I hope you pay us back ASAP. So when they're starting to pull money out of their active trading accounts, that's not a good idea. Where there's smoke, there's typically fire. The speculation comes just as 
uh, 48 hours after crypto lender Celsius froze all withdrawals and a run on its deposits. So when there's not enough money to satisfy all the customer deposits, like what happened with Terra Luna, it creates a run, meaning people are willing to take whatever they can get to get out first. Whoever gets out first gets out okay. Everybody else after that, they get left holding the bag. And that's exactly what's happening. Now, there's no one coming to save you. In the bank, the Fed backstops that, FDIC insurance. The Fed saw banks that were too big to fail, and they bailed them out. Nobody in crypto is too big to fail, and there is no FDIC insurance. There's no one coming to save you. As you can see here, it says, with no central bank to step in and provide liquidity as a lender of last resort. So, for example, we can see more. Three Arrows Capital bought 10 million locked Luna for $559 million dollars. And it's now worth only six hundred and seventy dollars. <laughs> it was almost six hundred million, <laughs> and now it's only about six hundred dollars. I don't. I don't mean to laugh. I hope you weren't caught up in that. But that just goes to show you how fast that collateral lost its value. And when that happens, you can see how this starts to unwind. So we can see how this is happening uh, really quickly here. Uh, just to show you, this is what happened to Terra Luna. So, you know, it started down here, 73 cents. This is January of 21. Right about here, July of 21 is where it took off. Right about here, people thought they were rich. They thought they were the smartest people in the, wor uh, in the world. Uh, Warren Buffett says that a rising tide rises all boats. And so they bought here at, you know, $11 or whatever. They bought at $50 and it hit $100. It hit as high as $115 right before it crashed all the way down to where it's at now, $2. So we are down uh, more than 90% from where we were at the top. Let's see here. Yeah, 9 a hundred, a hundred percent. I mean, it's gone. I mean, that, that's never coming back. Not to, not to make fun of it, but everything's good until it's not. Now we can see Zhu Su. He's the co-founder of this uh, Three Arrows Capital, and he quickly went and changed uh, his profile. You can see his profile here, and then you can see that he's saying that we're in process of communicating with relevant parties and fully committed to working this out. But again, if you don't have the customer funds. There really is no way to work this out. You can freeze uh, and, and maybe hopefully pray and try to earn that money back, but the chances is that no one's going to trust you and no one's going to work with you, and it's gone. And we can see that he's already making the calls. We can see Zusu, co-founder of these three arrows, Capital, has completely deleted Ethereum, AVAX, Luna, Sol, Near, Mina on his Twitter bio. So he was pumping these up as he was involved, and now he's quickly trying to distance himself from it. Um, he deleted all of these um, in his personal introduction on Twitter, you can see. And uh, But we love the Wayback Machine. <laughs> you put something on the internet, it doesn't go away. We can see that he had it on there before, but he has it no more. Of course, he was pumping AVAX, and we can see what AVAX is doing as well. It's down over 90%. As a matter of fact, uh, 91, almost 92% since he's there. So what does this mean? If you don't have money in, tel in, in uh, Terra Luna, you don't have money in Celsius, you don't have money in, eight, in Three Arrows, are you okay? Well, not really. This is spreading to the entire cryptocurrency space. It could go to BlockFi, it could go to Genesis, it can go to Coinbase. I don't want to spread FUD. We don't know how deep this can go. So... Take the appropriate action. What does that mean? If you're in cryptocurrencies, especially these more risky ones... If you want to hold it through, I mean, Bitcoin the same. If you want to hold this and ride it out for the next five years, be prepared to wait out five years. If you don't, maybe take what you can get right now. For myself, I hold Bitcoin. I'm not selling. I've, I watched it pull down to 3,800 two years ago. And if I got to watch it draw down again, I'm going to do that. But I don't know what you want to do. You need to be prepared for that. Also, understand that this contagion can continue to expand. So even if you're with a company like BlockFi or a company like Coinbase, again, not trying to sped, spread FUD, but try to get that money off as soon as possible. Because if they go down like part of this, then your funds will be locked up on those platforms, just like everybody else. And I don't want that to happen to you. Custody your own Bitcoin, pull it off the exchange, put it away in your um, cold storage in your hardware wallet, like Trezor or like Ledger. If you have a lot of money and you want to protect it, I use a multi-signature wallet with a company like Unchained Capital. They can set it all up for you on concierge. Just go to unchained.com slash concierge. 
But whatever you do, be aware that even if you're not one of these three companies, the contagion is spreading and it could even go into the greater Wall Street markets because Three Arrows Capital wasn't really a crypto company. They are more of an FX trading company. But let me know what you think. Do you have exposure to any of these? Leave me a comment down below and let me know. If you like this video, I know it was bad news, but I'm trying my best to uh, prepare you for this and warn you about this. So if you appreciate that, you can give me a thumbs up on this video. If you, don't, if you don't like it, I guess you can give me a thumbs down. But at least leave me a comment. Let me know why. And that's what I got for you today, all right? To your success. I'm out. Since you've stayed to the end, I know you like this video, which means you're probably going to really like this video right here and this video right here.